There are many paths leading to the top of Mount Fuji, but there is only one summit, love. This is a famous quote from uh, Morike Oeshiba. Uh, today, August 5 and 6, 2023, uh, I'm climbing uh, Mount Fuji, the uh, highest uh, mount mountain in Japan and we're taking uh, the Yoshida Trail with my co-workers in Disney. So this is the trail that we are the, uh, trekking, the Yoshida Trail. They said this is the easiest one. So uh, the bus will take us to the fifth station and then uh, they call it fifth station. This is uh, fifth station is somewhere here. And then we move up there to the 6 and then to the 7 to the 8 I think 8 is where we'll be uh, or to the 9 we'll be taking the night for a, a short rest sleep and around 2 o'clock in the morning we'll start trekking again going up to the summit right. so we'll see how it will goes tomorrow so today's uh, we'll be I'll be leaving a home around uh, Six or five in the morning. It was uh, six o'clock, six thirty is our bus, and we I'll be going to uh, Shinjuku Station. So from Roppongi, where I live now, to Shinjuku Station, there's a couple of station from here. So these are guys. These are the things that I'll be uh, taking with me. Everything, uh, everything is light stuff. So I start from here. So I bought a uh, vacuum seal bag, bag, bag from Daiso. To make sure that uh, when it when my clothes should be protected from any rain or what, and then I bought also this thermal aluminized poncho. And it's they said on top is around six to eight degrees centigrade, so it's really cool. So I had my protection for face, I had protection for my cool head towel just in case it's hot because right, right now it's really hot in, in Tokyo. I have also my cap and my uh, safety glasses. I have my bonnet for uh, the night, as it's called. I bought also just in case a support me. And then I have, a, I have gloves because some part of it are really rough, rocky ground. I have my cooling towel. I have my headlamp because we'll be trekking at night. And another uh, uh, dust protection. So if it's hot, I have this cooler. I just, I just pants, pants it. And then Itself. And this one is if it's cold, another this kind of uh, heater. Then I have some first aid kit just in case. I have Tylenol <laughs> just in case I have pain. I have my uh, charger and flashlight, so watch, grocery, <clears throat> cell phone, GPS. I have my energy foods, and I have my uh, clothes, clothes for uh, cold weather. They, they, uh, they suggest to use some fleece type of cloth and then we have, I have for hot weather these are dry fit clothes socks and another you know for uh, just in case it's uh, cold it's another flea chaleco and then I have rain coat because we don't know the weather on top so these are the things that I'll be taking and these are my shoes it's a uh, mountain hiking shoe and uh, I'll, be, uh, I'll be carrying a, this kind of backpack. It's a medium-sized backpack. I want to travel light. These are all travel uh, light uh, items. So that's all I have right now. I don't want to carry a lot. So I live in uh, the central part of Tokyo, the Roppongi area, uh, particularly Roppongi Ichome Station. And uh, I'm taking the subway going to Shinjuku where we will take the bus to Mount Fuji. So I'm hitting the, the, uh, the road from five, uh, 6.30 in the morning and then uh, we'll take the bus. So it will take us from 7 o'clock to uh, they said 
eleven or ten, eleven o'clock in the morning uh, to travel by bus. Uh, this is our first stop. Uh, bus stop to take some rest and buy something for snack. And uh, I'm with my coworkers disney imagineering mostly they are uh, uh, field arts directors of our <coughs> creative uh, department so uh, i've been dreaming to climb this mountain since last year when i arrived in uh, in, the, in japan but due to uh, bad weather it is hard to take a risk so the only window to go to to go up to Mount Fuji is during summer from July 20 to September 10 this uh, year 2023 so I'm taking this opportunity this small window to go with my team uh, co-workers so we're a team of uh, eight people or ten people so we're here we're ready so we reached our uh, starting point they call it level 5 or level 5 5th station so there are uh, four four stations to go up so we're taking our lunch uh, dinner preparation and uh, we started to set off so uh, we're doing some orientation first at level 5 because at that time we, we need to uh, rent uh, hiking sticks because I don't have hiking sticks it's very very important they said so before we hit the road we need to take some pictures because you don't know who will be uh, coming back alive or what <laughs> that's what our guide said make sure that we come alive and not uh, not go to other paths because there are many paths going up and going down so you see that you see the trail is the famous one so this is where uh, the starting point and uh, there are so many precautions as we go up because the temperature and weather conditions on the mountain are prone to rapidly change so we need to bring both rain and cold weather gear and avoid climbing in casual clothing so you see we have so many backpacks we have some our own backpacks but uh, I travel light I always love travel light so I took only a few uh, cold uh, gear but it's okay I've shown you uh, yeah, this is the a uh, uh, little bit uh, at level 5 the ground is still fine still looking good still seems easy but cloudy the weather is uh, looks very uh, conducive for hiking see a lot of people traveling uh, or climbing uh, from uh, the, the the youngest is uh, I think three years old and then some old people even above 80s I saw them see the girl the girl is uh, I think that's uh, five years old but I didn't know if, he, if she is able to reach the top because usually they stop at level 8 because after 8 it will be very difficult very uh, rocky see this ground it's uh, so so beautiful uh, it is really very important to have stick because to it is very helpful for supporting the body the knees there's a lot of climbing Guys. and uh, <laughs> Uh, here we need to take our own trash 
we should have our spare I carry my own okay. spare uh, plastic bag so that uh, because there's no trash can on top I even brought my uh, my trash at home because nobody wants to <laughs> uh, take it uh, at level 5 so here we're, we have reached the 6th station so we're still good knee is still fine uh, everyone is happy uh, we're reading all the uh, uh, this is the information center where they tell us the precautions so, so when walking on the trail walk on the uh, inside of the trail the near the mountain because it, uh, it's it steep. <sighs> it's the temperature here is just fine I'm wearing a, a dry fit here I like the temperature. It's cloudy. It's good. It's not sunny. So uh, this is very comfortable. But the initial trail was a little bit uh, rough and stiff. But they said as we go up high, it will be stiffer. Before before I uh, climb the mountain, uh, I had the chance to uh, ask some people who went up already and I asked them if they want to go back again but they said no just one time I didn't know why their their response is just once uh, I, that's that's the reason why I want to climb up so I would know why they are saying that thing I want to test myself if I would uh, say also just one time or I, have, I want to go up more so by the way the, you see the trail is re getting harder and harder because there are some rocks now no more uh, not much vegetation at the lower section there are a lot of there's still some trees but now you can see we're on the, the cloud level so uh, it's getting stiffer the terrain is getting uh, stiffer the slope is around 30 degrees 25 to 30 degrees and I can feel my uh, legs started to uh, heat up <laughs> so uh, uh, people are really still uh, trying to uh, get up I, I so guys I'm I'm near station 7 some of my <clears throat> teammates are still behind I'm wearing, I'm using two, two rods, so, so exhausted, but it's, it's good, uh, see, good, I'm wearing a dry fit t-shirt, really the, uh, the elevation, the slope is around 30, 35, sometimes 40 degrees. It's a little bit stiff. This one is around 35 degrees. So we're still, uh, we still need to go up to the seventh station. So we just passed by the sixth station. Right. Okay, we're near. But still far away. You know? see that that's the seventh station oh my god my uh, left knee started to soar sweating a lot it's good I like it because I'm uh, I'm excreting toxic from my body so we're that high already. I don't know how. What's the elevation now? My watch saying 8,148 altitude. All right. 
れか、それの5軒目まで。Luis, we're near. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. Look at that. It's good it's cloudy, huh? huh? It's good it's cloudy. Yeah, yeah. Not that sky in the left. Right. It's opening. So after traveling around three hours, we're near. Uh, <laughs> look at them; they are my teammates. <laughs> Teammate. Uh, we have uh, reached almost reached the uh, seventh station, but still a little bit far. It's the cloud uh, level at the time. Cloud level. Yeah, video. That's why it's foggy. Uh, we keep on looking up because we don't know how how far is level seven uh, and we're taking our uh, limit as close as possible to the edge to the right because it's dangerous to the left because it's really a very high uh, cliff and it's uh, slippery and a lot of uh, there are some instances of rock falling so we're keeping ourselves safe by the way going up to mount fuji you need to really have a uh, need to really to prepare yourself especially the legs and stamina and uh, you know me i prepared by running and walking around the city i've been walking a lot since i arrived in japan so i think that that is helping me a lot uh, to climb the mountain. So now it's you see there's a lot of rocks. It's getting harder. The ground is getting rocky. You can see here all rocks. Most sometimes the uh, the hiking pole is not. Uh, Got my stone. Uh, it's not usable because you need to use your bare hands. So I recommend to use gloves. Uh, have always a glove. So this is the seventh floor, or seventh level. Yeah. <laughs> so this is where we will be uh, resting tonight. <laughs> So this is my uh, first uh, climb mountain hiking experience at this high of height of 3776 meters above sea level. So uh, it's it's really a big milestone for me. Uh, it's every time uh, we reach the point a level station in our hike. Uh, we always have uh, a celebration of, you know, sometimes uh, uh, knuckle, knuckle bumps or uh, high five with my coworker, and give ourselves some snacks, breaks, or rewards, rewards for our hard work. So as you see, you can see how we sleep, how we should be resting tonight. We sleep side by side. But uh, we're not able to sleep because we've been, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, so we just decided to, instead of sleeping, why not just continue uh, going up. So from the 7th, uh, from 8 o'clock in the evening, we resumed uh, climbing again. Climbing again, uh, wearing our... Uh, wearing our... Head lamps. So we prepared ourselves for the freezing weather as advised by the people around. So it is really 
we do, we didn't we are not expecting anything as we go up but just going up so we don't know what's happening what will happen on uh, on top to the summit so our aim is to go up to the summit whether we have also our poles that uh, as a souvenir every station they put a stamp look at that they put a stamp so I have my I had my uh, short one just a remembrance that we were able to reach that station so uh, by the way every station there there is a toilet but the toilet is not uh, free you need to give something like uh, 200 yen for maintenance so it's a uh, uh, toilets are operated through the goodwill of participants uh, so this is a public toilet so we resume hiking at this point uh, we're preparing by the way so we had our dinner first uh, early dinner around six o'clock we sat together in a uh, low low table type of a Japanese standard of uh, dinner or meal table it's a traditional uh, table so here you go we're ready to go up to the eighth floor by the way before we reach eight floor there are still four stations to pass and every stage that is around uh, one and a half hour to reach uh, the eighth station and uh, every station every hut i mean there are four huts before we reach the eighth station every hut uh, it's really uh, a difficult path as you can see where we have reached uh, above the cloud so you can see how beautiful it is it's just like you are on the plane and you the same level as when you're flying you can see the clouds you're over above the clouds And so before we resume climbing, we enjoyed the present moment of the sunset. So beautiful and I was able to thank God for the beautiful experience, the unforgettable experience. It's, it's really amazing. It feels really so good. So thank God for that opportunity and experience. And we're now set out to go up ready you see the lambs on our heads everyone wearing the the temperature is now uh, down uh, we can feel the, the so we're leaving the site the early. call of the night uh, but the good thing is there's a little uh, shining moon around so it's not that too dark we're so blessed and lucky because there is no rain at that time. So this is the perfect time to go up. First week or early end of the month of July, first week of August is I think the best time to go up to Mount Fuji. Uh, the weather is really good and stable. So look at this. It is uh, a rocky ground, uh, very steep. Um, and a lot of people are climbing up, up above and behind you so you need to uh, you, you can take some time to rest Wi-Fi sometimes Wi-Fi is okay uh, I'm using a the T-Mobile USA so it's working I can send text messages to my family in the US so you can see the the ground so it's so it's really rocky and it's uh, and it's uh, stiff, stiff. I mean stiff. So uh, it's good thing uh, we can. I can see my at uh, the back side or the right side because it's really a st uh, steep cliff also. 
a lot of people are falling uh, down there and and uh, cause casualties. So you see the moon. The moon is sh shining with us. <laughs> it's going with us, and uh, it's really good. So we pass by another hut at this point, and we're so happy to have got some water. So as we go, as I go up, I I fill my uh, bottle, eight an eight ounce uh, size of water, so that. Uh, to hydrate myself so we're at the summit uh, area at this point but still uh, hard so at this point I because it's really hard and my legs are uh, are really uh, hardening and <laughs> stiff it's getting painful uh, so I started to uh, reflect on my failures in life and I said there are times I uh, failed in my life but at this point I'm so proud that uh, even it's hard even it's hard I can go up and, and continue to my body beginning to shut down I felt like I was going to faint in any second out of fatigue lack of warmth uh, respiratory respiratory issues so uh, it's a good thing i have my uh, portable uh, oxygen uh, you can buy this this is very important because at the high uh, high level uh, the uh, the oxygen is is not uh, seems not enough getting into your body so you need some support from the uh, uh, oxygen in in small can so i saw a lot of people uh, taking in the oxygen so i did myself so that to make sure that i won't faint and i keep checking my pulse rate because it's already uh, maximized so i need if it's maximum i need to stop to make sure i'm still good and to make sure i won't uh, you know put myself at risk so we resume climbing again to the top and uh, I offer all my uh, failures that will be part of uh, life process so I'm I'm setting I'm focusing my goals reaching the top I don't mind however or whatever it takes so uh, that's I think that's the most important thing you need to focus on your uh, goal no matter how hard it is in life that's what life is to f keep focusing in spirituality uh, I keep praying that I can uh, uh, reach the top with the help of uh, God so I've been asking I've been praying I've been uh, using this opportunity to you know to uh, yeah. if it's the way to uh, pay all the sins that I have done in life I can uh, uh, show to my God that uh, this is my way of uh, asking uh, forgiveness so in life uh, there's uh, success and failures but good life good things uh, comes from uh, hard experience so at this point we have reached finally the summit it's the summit where we, where we will be waiting for the uh, sunrise so we're so happy we're so glad everyone are so thankful it feels so good and so great to reach the summit uh, but it is not the mountain or Fujisan or Mount Fuji that we conquer. It is ourselves or myself. It is not the mountain that I conquer, but myself. It's true because uh, it's in spiritual life, I think this is the reason why I'm climbing the mountain because I want to uh, conquer my all my 
fears and able to give myself closer to the the creator and I had this opportunity while waiting for the sunrise opportunity to talk to him and asking him to give me some give me transformation in life so that when I go down again I have a better perspective in life I have prayed for people who are who've been asking for prayers those people that I have uh, uh, promised to pray for those people who blessed me and my family and those uh, plans and goals that are, are coming in the future so uh, it's really great thing to be up on top of the mountain it's lucky it's a blessing because uh, today is uh, the gospel is about transfiguration also so I'm like going up the mountain with uh, Jesus with the uh, three disciples so I can sense I can feel that on top of the mountain you and your God alone uh, talking to each other taking your aspirations in life your journey in life your pains your struggle your success your blessings and as you go down from that mountain yes there will be challenges in life there will be testing in life but there will always be a uh, sunrise, there will always be uh, a good uh, life that is waiting. So the good thing is uh, you have uh, the opportunity, I got the opportunity to retreat uh, and give myself a better uh, look on who I am and who I am and how I would uh, deal with my life. I think that's the beauty of going up. If you have a goal in going up Mount Fuji, that's that will be your cha that will be your inspiration to go up. And uh, the only thing you need to prepare yourself before going up. So I'm thankful that I reached this top. Uh, a good thing happens after taking some challenges, hardship, trap, you know. Uh, struggles in life there's always a good thing so as you can see the sunrise is coming up uh, it started to come up around 4.45 and we stayed there and people are, were praising the sun I mean thank, very thankful very grateful they're happy everyone is happy everyone were clapping everyone are so uh, joyful and I think me, for me, I, I praise God for, you know, for His good, for His wondrous, wonderful creation, for this amazing opportunity. And uh, I thank God for this goodness, for His goodness. Every moment is good, wow. like that. I know. Uh, 
Above the cloud. <laughs> Maybe those are just for the day. So we started to descend after an hour on top. Uh, I, we were expecting that the look at that beautiful oh, clouds on top. Uh, look at the ground the ground is no longer rocky but slippery it's like uh, it's a small uh, grinded uh, molten rocks those are volcanic rocks actually so very still very steep I thought it's really easy but we found out that the it's even harder to go down because uh, uh, because the knee is really uh, taking all the shocks, the pressures, and it's really painful. It, I got a point that uh, at the final end at the bottom, I, I was almost uh, not able to pass the line because it's I could not move my legs anymore. So look at that! This this very steep so and very steep. Yeah, if you fall on that air side you will surely die <laughs> so i keep keeping myself near the slope not at the uh, not at the cliff because there's no you you will if you fall you see that guy he's uh, he's tired and in pain um, so i love uh, nature i love the experience i love to uh, I love Mount uh, Fuji and I think it's my love of the mountains in Japan that led me to seek other mountains around the world. I keep, uh, I'll promise to myself that I'll continue to explore the beauty, the creation of God and to, uh, and to uh, protect the uh, environment especially. I'm advocating a real, ever since I'm advocating uh, the protection of the environment. As a civil engineer, this is my main uh, uh, my main uh, vocation, or how how do you call that? To support it, advocate, yeah, advocate for the environment. So. And, and there are no mountain hats on the descending route so uh, my advice is to make sure you have enough water there's not so many I think there were only f three huts we passed by so I was almost run out of water and almost uh, dehydrated and uh, make sure to prepare yourself for a sunny hot uh, temperature so look at my teammates we were uh, still on those were the photos taken where, while we were on top while we were watching the beauty of the sun rise So as we descend, we start off around 6 in the morning and we reach our the bottom of Mount Fuji, level 5, around 10 in the morning. So it took us 4 hours. So again, going down is not easy. Uh, it, the, the, the problem is the uh, it's slippery, rock is uh, slippery and stiff steep uh, terrain easy to fall off and it's very painful on knees and legs so you need to prepare for that so i highly recommend a uh, hiking shoes because uh, a sneaker is not it's not good i think because it will easy to 
you will get easy to slip down so the ex- the whole experience is really uh, uh, very unforgettable i always believe that uh, always be thankful for the little things even the smallest mountains can hide the most breathtaking views so uh, now i can answer the question my question earlier question if i want to go back again to mount fuji if for me if there's an opportunity yes and if the weather is good i don't i won't climb the mountain if it's freezing and if it's uh, rainy but for other people now i understand why they don't want to climb it because uh, it's it's hard really hard so uh, as the saying goes uh, you you are wise if you climb mount fuji once but twice you are full as they say <laughs> so uh, after reaching the bottom we the the, the bus tour toured us to uh, a spa we call it onsen and then uh, we head home we reached our home around eight o'clock in the evening so it t- because of the traffic from mount fuji to tokyo so there it is uh, if you have some comments or questions just put uh, write questions on the comments and i will answer back thank you and and hope you enjoyed our my short uh, uh, story thank you and good luck on on climbing mount fuji and other summit thank you Thank you.